Let us solve this linear system using the Kramer's rule. The Kramer's rule allows us to come up with um, different matrices from the original matrix that will you be using a column of our uh, constants. A specific um, columns will, det will be corresponding to the unknowns of, that we are solving. So we're going to do it like this, like x sub 1 in this given can be solved using a determinant of a sub 1 over the determinant of the entire a. The a sub 1 here, later we're going to make it, is a matrix where all the coefficients of the first column will be changed into the uh, constants. This is also true with x sub 2 is equal to the determinant of a sub 2, you see the same concern, all over the determinant of a. And you have x sub 3, we'll have the determinant of a sub 3 over the determinant of a. So let's come up first with our matrix A involving the coefficients of our variables. So your A, you will have here 1, negative 3, and 1. We will not include the constants yet. Then you have 2, negative 1, 0. And then 4, 0, negative 3. This is our A. Okay? So we can compute the determinant of A already from here. So the determinant of A is a result for this. We'll have 1 times negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Plus, here you have negative 3 times 0 times 4, so we know that to be 0. Plus, next, you have 1 times 2 times 0, we also know that to be 0. Then, minus the opposite direction, we have 1 times negative 1 times 4 is minus 4. So you have minus 4. The next, negative 3 times 2 times negative 3, that's uh, negative 6 times negative 3, so you have positive 18. Finally, you have 0, 0, and 1, of course, that's plus 0. So you will have here 3, and then you will have um, minus uh, 14. So the determinant of A is negative 11. This is all the denominators for here, here, and here. But let's try to solve first the determinants of a sub 1, a sub 2, and a sub 3. As mentioned, a sub 1 is a matrix here where the first column of the original matrix A will be changed to your constants. So instead of 1, 2, 4 as your first column for a sub 1, you will have here 4, negative 2, 0. And then, same, second column, and, and the third column is still 1, 0, and negative 3. So let's start with solving for the determinant of a sub 1. It goes like this. 4 times negative 1 times negative 3 is a positive 12. Positive 12 plus uh, negative 3 times 0 times 0. Of course, that's 0. Then next. 1 times negative 2 times 0 is also another 0. Minus, we have the other side from upper right to lower left. 1 times negative 1 times 0, you will have 0. Next, negative 3 times negative 2 times negative 3, that's negative 6 times, or I mean, positive 6 times negative 3 is minus 18. And then you will have the next. Um, 0 times 0 times 4, of course, that's plus 0. So you have here 12 minus negative 18, which gives us the determinant of a sub 1 being 30. Let's solve x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 later altogether. So let's continue with the second. I mean, a, a sub 2. Okay, for a sub 2, we we'll see we use the same row first i mean first column as of a but the second column will be changed to the 
uh, constants 4, negative 2, and 0. So you have 4, negative 2, and 0. You will still use the same third row, 1, 0, negative 3. So the determinant of a sub 2 is equal to 1 times negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Next, 4 times 0 times 4 is 0. Next, 1 times 2 times 0 is also 0. Minus, you have the other way around. 1 times negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Then, 0 times 0 times 1 is 0. And you should have 4 times 2 times negative 3. That's 8 times negative 3. So, negative 24. This becomes 6 minus negative 32. So, you will have a result of positive 38 for the determinant of a sub 2. And then for a sub 3, you'll use the same first uh, column, 1, 2, 4. To be followed with the same second column, negative 3, negative 1, 0. But the third column will be changed to 4, negative 2, and 0, our uh, constants. And then we solve for the determinant of a sub 3. 3. Let's start. 1 times negative 1 times 0 is equal to 0. Next, negative 3 times negative 2, that's 6 times 4, you will have plus 24. Next, 4 times 2 times 0, so that's um, plus 0 as well. Minus, the other way around, 4 times um, negative 1 times 4, that's minus 16. Next, negative 3 times 2 times 0, that's 0. And then, 1 times negative 2 times 0, you also have plus 0. So this is now 24 minus negative 16. The determinant of a sub 3 is positive 40. Now that we have solved all four determinants here, we'll use again this theorem uh, for the Kramer's rule, and then you will have these results. x sub 1 is equal to determinant of a sub 1 over the determinant of a. I'm going to use some space here. So that's 30 over negative 11. So x sub 1 is negative 30 over 11. For x sub 2, you will have the determinant of a sub 2 over determinant of a. So you have here 38 over negative 11. So x sub 2 is negative 38 over 11. And finally, x sub 3 is the determinant of a sub 3 over the determinant of a. So that's 40 over negative 11. So x sub 3 is negative 40 11. These are now the results for the, vo the variables in this given linear system. And we have solved it using the Kramer's rule. Thank you for watching.